just about to go out and paint the roof of the van. The initial plan, like I said, was to move it around the corner so that no, uh, no birds pooed on it because we've got telephone lines. But since washing it last week, I think it was, that actually no bird poo on there. So the birds seem to poo on it on the windscreen and the bonnet. So you can see I've got a cover on the bonnet. The windscreen, it doesn't particularly matter. Um, so I'm gonna risk it. And because it's being rollered, it's easier to touch a couple of bits up. So yeah, plan of action is to um, go up there, clean it all off, um, degrease it, and then roll the paint it. And hopefully it shouldn't take me too long. So I'm just gonna set a time lapse up from the window up here. And yeah, let's get cracking. There we have it, the roof's all painted. Wow, it was hot. I had to put trousers on because my legs were getting burnt off the roof. Uh, you'd probably say I'm absolutely melting, but we're done. I had to do a weird sort of mixture of brushing and rollering. The roller tray kind of wasn't really working. Um, it wasn't really getting enough paint on and the paint on the bit where you like roll the uh, roller down was drying so fast because it was hot that it was like making little lumps. So I sacked that off and I brushed half of it on and then I like dipped the roller in the paint and like spun it with the brush to like spread it. That seemed to work okay. I'm hoping like the bit above the cab is good enough because obviously all of the bits you can see are sprayed. So their finish is like spot on. But you can see that from like the front. Um, I think it's all right. If it's not, I'm just gonna have to somehow spray it. It's just there's like no access to it. I'm absolutely melting. Um, but I think it'll be all right. Once it's dried, it sort of smoothens out a bit when it's dry and it looks really glossy at the minute because obviously it's wet. Um, but yeah, done. And now I just need to do little finishing touches. It obviously all needs a good clean inside again. Uh, getting some seat covers, some nice carpets for the cab. Um, can't remember what else, but I'll do a video basically of doing all the little finishing touches. And then after that, it'll be like a full tour of the camper van. So yeah. With the van being all painted now uh, and the roof all finished, I need to get the solar panel back on. So let's get that fitted now. Before I refit it, I'm just gonna give it a very quick wash and then put some of the like ceramic wax coating stuff that I've got on it because that'll keep it cleaner and it means it won't need to be regularly washed. Basically every time it rains, it'll self wash almost. They do have some sort of coating on apparently onto the glass, but this was pretty dirty just from being sat out the front. So 
add an extra layer of protection onto it. This is what I'm using, it's Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution Ceramic Spray Coating and it's actually very, very good. All you need to do is wash and dry whatever you're coating and then apply it and sort of buff it off. I've used it on all of the windows in our house Keep them a bit cleaner. I've used it on our shower screen. Um, anywhere that you want water to run off, you can use it. It's so good. When you use this on like car body work and stuff, which I will do on the van, you then like really well buff it off because if not it can leave streaks but obviously this is just a solar panel so it's less vital it doesn't matter if there's a few streaks on it no one can actually really see it i'll show you how hydrophobic this is basically just means repel water and it just completely runs off Good. Re dry that. I'm going to go and stick the camera in the bedroom window, pointing out the window again. So I'll go and do that and then I'll get this refitted. Just a quick little side note these are like self drilling, I suppose you call them uh, tech screws. So you use this attachment onto a drill driver and then I'm just using some of this Pureflex 40 which is a flexible um, what do you see sealant and adhesive. I'm just going to put a little blob of that on just to make sure these don't leak. They have got washers but I'll just make like double sure that nothing leaks so I'll put a little blob of that on so you'll see me using that using this and they just attach which I've probably shown you already in the original fit video just with these brackets um, but yeah to paint the roof it had to come off so now the roof's done time to go back on space to put another one there, another one there, another one there, so you could easily fit three more on. So yeah, there's loads of space for expansion uh, to add extra panels. Um, the charge controller can easily be updated and upgraded uh, further down the line if needed, but it's all designed so that it's really easy to upgrade it. Um, dead simple to add two more panels. All you do is um, 
connect them to the other panels and then obviously connect it to the wiring that goes down to the charge controller so yeah dead simple easy to upgrade um yeah it's all done in the next video i'll be painting all of the door jams so keep an eye out for that one as always thank you for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one